Browns quarterback Deshaun Watson has been suspended six games for violating the NFL's personal conduct policy following accusations of sexual misconduct. The decision was made by disciplinary officer Sue L. Robinson. In the ruling, she wrote, there was not enough evidence for an indefinite suspension. The NFLPA has already said they will not appeal the suspension, while the league has three days to decide whether or not to appeal. As part of her 15-page report, Robinson wrote, quote, although this is the most significant punishment ever imposed on an NFL player for allegations of nonviolent sexual conduct, Mr. Watson's pattern of conduct is more egregious than any before reviewed by the NFL. Tim, what do you make of this suspension? It's not done, is what I make of this suspension. And listen, for those who don't know, Watson's side, basically, there was a negotiation here that lasted the entire investigation between the NFL, the NFLPA, and Watson's lawyers mm -hmm. on a suspension. They could not come to a conclusion. And what Watson's side wanted was a six to eight game suspension. And what the NFL wanted was a 12 game suspension. And what we have here is a six game suspension and Watson's side is happy, the NFL PA is happy, and we've heard absolutely nothing from the NFL. Mm -hmm. Now, I don't know, listen, the NFL's past when it comes to suspensions and handing down suspensions isn't the greatest track record in the world. So I wouldn't be surprised if They've been saying this all along. We want 12 games and a significant fine and leaking that out so that rumors and innuendo can suggest that the NFL wants to come down hard on this. Then they have an independent investigator suggest six and they say we reluctantly agree with the independent. All I can say is I don't think this is over and this is so Cleveland Browns to give three first round picks to the Texans and sign a guy to the richest deal in NFL history, then have him suspended for the first six games, never mind inviting a guy who at best is a really creepy individual who leveraged his privilege yeah. to coerce people into things that they didn't seem to want to do, and at worst a predator into the room. This is what the Cleveland Browns did. And because of it, they are now releasing another statement and it just to me it seems like this is all so Cleveland Browns so the NFL and I don't think it's over but it wouldn't shock me if it was over you know what's really sad too is that this decision is a win for the Browns like it could have been much worse than than this from their perspective and that sucks because they, they ended up yeah, the Browns fans don't deserve any of this no, that's, that's the part mess. of this is I feel for Cleveland Browns fans, but let's be honest here, it doesn't seem like Deshaun Watson's a very good human being. No, no. And when you go and pick up really good football players who aren't good human beings, sometimes you, you reap what you sow. Mm -hmm. And for me, this is what the Browns sowed. And it's, it's a damn shame, but it's the truth. Completely agree.